What up everyone, this is Tank. On this episode, I want to speak about a respiratory disease that affects 150,000-200,000 cases in the United States per year and approximately 27,000 new cases per year. It's called sarcoidosis. And I'm gonna try to give you as much truthful information as I can. Sarcoidosis is an inflammatory disease that affects multiple organs in the body, but mostly the lungs and lymph glands. In people with sarcoidosis, abnormal masses are nodules, called granulomas, consisting of inflamed tissues formed in certain organs of the body. These granulomas may alter the normal structure and possibly the function of the affected organs. Sarcoidosis is an autoimmune disease, in other words it makes the body attack itself. While it can attack different parts of the body, it commonly affects the lungs. The cause of sarcoidosis is unknown, but experts think it results from the body's immune system responding to an unknown substance, infectious agents, chemicals, dust and a potential abnormal reaction to the body's own proteins. Just like there is no clear cause of sarcoidosis, there is no cure for sarcoidosis either, but most people do very well with no treatment or only modest treatment. In some cases, sarcoidosis goes away on its own. However, sarcoidosis may last for years and may cause organ damage. Sarcoidosis can begin with these signs and symptoms. Fatigue, swollen lymph nodes, weight loss, pain and swelling in joints, such as the ankles. Also fever. Sarcoidosis most often affects the lungs and may cause lung problems, such as persistent dry cough, shortness of breath, wheezing, chest pain. Depending on your symptoms, they can sometimes tell with an X-ray. While anyone can develop sarcoidosis, factors that may increase your risk include being between the ages of 20 and 60 years. Women are slightly more likely to develop the disease. People of African descent and those of Northern European descent have a higher incidence of sarcoidosis to edit. Also, if left untreated, it can do a lot of damage to organs and lead to death. Medicines they may give you for this range from nothing at call to steroids and pumps. Notable people who live or died with this condition are Floyd Mayweather Sr. Reggie White. Tisha Campbell, Bernie Mac, and most recently, Crazy Bone, from Bone Thugs and Harmony, who recently checked in the hospital coughing up blood. Although there's lots more info you can find about this disease, I enjoyed bringing a little awareness about it. I hope it helped. TH8s is Tank saying laters and thanks for watching.